Sup everyone, this is Aria Matrix, welcoming you back to part 11 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I'm back in London Ranch in the daytime this time. To show you what, you, what else you can do here when it's daytime. Because I came back, because I came here earlier and it was nighttime, if you remember. Uh, which I'm sure you don't, because it's been so freaking long since I posted a video, I know. Uh, what, what has it been, like, a week or more since I posted a video? Yeah, yeah, about a week. Because <laughs> last Sunday I posted that you know, don't tease the animals thing. And I, I hope you enjoyed that sincere, sincerely. It was just like something I had an urge to do, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do it right now. So I did it, I posted it, and it's been a pretty good hit so far. Got 230-something views, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, so anyways... Yeah, I guess I should explain why I haven't been... Oh, that horse ran away from me. That sucks. Um, but I've I've just been swamped with so much homework lately. It's unbelievable. It's been and and then and then like now it's a long weekend because I have a PD day on Monday and I I don't get any homework over the weekend. It's like what the hell? Like seriously. Okay, my mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Uh yeah. And then plus there's been some other stuff. Like today's my dad's birthday, so I have to deal with that stuff too. We're not going to do a whole lot, but it's still going to be fun. Um, yeah. So anyways, expect a lot of videos today too, because I'm, I don't think it would be fair to just post one video today. Even though there's like only five subscribers, that's, that's a small fan base, and yeah. So anyway, what am I doing anymore? Take out your ocarina here. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song? Yeah, I'm going to play the song, obviously. You have a beautiful voice now, huh? I love it. And then there's Link with his crappy ocarina that doesn't sound beautiful. At, well, as beautiful as your voice. And that's Epona's song, which will become more useful much later in the game. And Link's like, what the fuck's happening with my ocarina? Holy crap, it's sparkling. Wow. Oh, the owl. Yeah, that just made it epic. Holy crap. Don't push me. Don't push me, you stupid horse. I don't like you. I hate you, horse. I'm gonna eat you with something. I don't know. Okay, and that's not all we can do here in the daytime, because as you, as you probably don't remember, I was trying to go into this house the last time I was here, but it was nighttime, so I couldn't, because Malon was sleeping in that- HOLY CRAP! That's a lot of chickens. Holy oh, man. What a tarnation. No, mumble, mumble. Huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally convinced Mal on it to get back into a good mood. Uh, what? Ah. Uh, never mind. What are those two chickens up there doing, like, by his head? Whatever. These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick up these three special birds from one, from, from among the normal cuckoos in the time limit, I'll give you something good. He will give you something good. So, for 10 rupees... What? what? Why, why do I have to pay you to find birds? Shit. Okay, where where'd those land? I know I know the general location of where... Oh, that's one already. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, oh my god, what? Oh, is this one? No. Is this one? Yes, that's the second one. And the last one is over here somewhere. I think. Is it you? Is there anything in this one? Is it you? Let me pick you up. No. Come on. Oh my god. No. I'm not gonna. I don't want to lose this. Fuck. Is it you? Damn it. Time's up. Too bad. These are some great thumb whatever. Okay, so yeah. Um, another one of the reasons that I haven't been posting any videos like this, because I don't know if any of you are into Pokemon out there. Like anyone watching this video, I don't know if you're into Pokemon, but I just got Pokemon Heart Gold. And let me tell you, that is a one addicting game. Holy crap. So yeah, so I've I've played that for a long time. I am to like the fifth gym right now. Holy crap, that was easy. 
Ah, uh, last one's over here somewhere. Man, I wanted to get that without screwing up once. Yay! Go the LB darn! Um, it's plum incredible. What? I don't. I don't ever get. I never got that phrase. Like plum. How does that add anything to it? That's a fruit. Uh, how do? How do I like Mary Malon? Sure, she's hot. Oh, I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Oh. I'm proud to present you a sample of our very own Lawn Lawn Milk. You'll be very energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring it back to the... You can bring that... Oh yeah, so we got a bottle of milk. But more importantly, we got a bottle... Oh uh, yeah. And that's how you get the second bottle of the game. And then the third one, they're for they force you to get it. And the fourth one is a big pain in the ass. You know, before I leave here, I think I actually missed a Sculptula when I was here last time, so... Let's play the sun song and make it nighttime, so that we can try and get that, shall we? Yep. Yeah, so anyways, what was I talking about before? That wasn't really to the game at all. I don't know. But here's... There, yeah, there's a Skulltrol in that tree. So, don't hit me, you stupid Skulltrol, I hate you. I destroyed a gold Skulltrol. Yeah, I was talking about Pokemon, that's right. Maybe I'll talk about that later, when I get back to Kakariko. Yeah, because now we're actually going to progress the story, believe it or not. Let's, so, I think I'm just going to meet you in Kakariko. See you then. Okay, so we're in the, uh, oh, let's, let's try that again. <laughs> we're back in Kakariko Village, and now it's daytime. Well, technically it's morning. And that just gives you an idea of how stubby Link's legs are. It takes him a good six hours to walk across the field, across half the field. Yeah. So anyways, to progress the story, you're going to want to go up here. And there's this big gate blocking the way. What the hell is this? I want to get through. Can I kill it with Deku Nuts? No, but I killed the sign with Deku Nuts. Uh, does this work? That didn't work. There we go. So, yeah. I've heard that if you play Zelda's Lullaby by a broken sign, it'll fix the sign. So let's see. Well, what do you know it did? That's cool. So you want to talk to this guy, and he's like, The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign? Or whatever. So you have to show him Zelda's autograph, and it's like, Oh, this is, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is our gun. This is under my orders to save Hyrule. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Oh, okay, okay, all right. You can go up. Just... Be careful, Mr. Hero. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Wah, ha, 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 Whatever. Link's still standing there holding out the paper. Stop holding out the paper, Link. He's seen it already. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, this is long-ass dialogue, and you can't skip it. If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. You go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market. You should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Yeah, I already got a free island shield, so you don't need to tell me this. And, oh, a discount? That's awesome. Yeah, that lowers the price from 80 rupees to 60 rupees. But the screwed up thing about that is that, um, in order to get the discount, you still have to have 80 rupees to buy the shield, and the guy will just, and when you try to buy it, he'll say, like, oh, well, this guy gave you a discount, so here, I'll only charge you 60 rupees. But, if you try to buy it with less than 80 or if you just come with 60 and try to buy it, and I'll say, you don't have enough money for this. And it's like, what? Screw you. I do have enough money. Uh, that guy was talking about a mask. More on that later. So anyways, we're going up this way to Death Mountain. Just like Impa told us to do. Ooh, epic shot. Death Mountain. Nice smoke ring up there. Hmm, that sounded like the sun song, didn't it? Dude, don't take that out. Uh, oh, tech tight's great. Kill, kill it. There you go. No, no, die. Thank you. Yeah. Oh man, are we running out of time already? That's stupid. Okay, so. Oh no, wait, no, we're not running out of time. Never mind because uh, I cut out that trip from. I cut out that tr six-hour trip from Long Long Ranch to Hyrule Field. Uh, not the Hyrule Field, the Kakariko. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I cut that out, so I think I'll go for what I'll just go until like it says 
11 until my timer says like 11:30 ish. That should be good. Uh, anyways, so yeah, we only have 30 seconds. But anyways, so yeah, each of these rocks, if you break them, they will give you three hearts. So that's always good. Oh look, it's Goron, awesome. It's a rock person. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the, the Dongo's cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, oh shut up, but one day many Dongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. That sucks. Who was that? Was it Ganon? Oh man, that sucks. Okay, so it looks like we're just about out of time here, so... This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.